G'day Ginger, it's Bill Quinn here from Overhead Productions. I'm going to keep this brief if I can. It's not usually my forte, but we'll see how we go. I'm currently in a backpackers in, in Buntua. You might know it better as Alice Springs. I've been here for, uh, this is my second night tonight, but I was here for a few nights last week. I've been out in the desert a few nights last week, a few nights this week. No, it's currently Monday, so I was there and <laughs> you get what I'm saying. I've been out in the desert a bit, so I've got ochre dust in my shoes in my hair in my teeth and definitely in my let's go motorhomes so what i was saying before about why i choose to stay in backpacker hostels this happened okay never mind the fact that today has been a golden day because the business that i chose to base here and registered the day after i arrived here so on sunday the 19th of september i registered a business it was confirmed immediately we've now spent the last 30 days getting it nailed down because of me needing to get a physical address because i'm bill the gypsy i don't have a home Billy Bragg said it best, I ain't got no home in this world. That's so much higher than I need to be. So you get the idea, Ambuntua, Alice Springs. Okay, this happened only in the last half hour. All right, there's this. All right, about a couple of hours ago, maybe an hour and a half ago, I met a woman from the APY lands, Pintanjara. She's Quinny. She's known as Quinny. Her grandfather was Frank Quinn. My father was Frank Quinn. I have not had that many big emotional hugs from another human being in so many years on the road as I just had tonight because we had that connection. We talked about the Irish, we talked about Quinns, we talked about Quinny. I'm getting up to two minutes, I've got to wrap this up. And that's just that. Meanwhile, I'm trying to sort the you don't want to see what's behind door number three son of a motherless goat i've been on the road for 48 days now in this thing and that's only part of the last eight and a half years that i've been on the road anyway while i'm standing there bloke walks in known him from last week week before anyway within the space of a five minute chat we've got a plan he's working tomorrow night i'm going to the jam night he's not working wednesday night we're going to go and do some salsa dancing and some bachata, whatever the heck that is. But it's one of my favourite places in Mbuntua. I've been here for a month at midnight and I've embraced Alice Springs like you would not believe. And that, Ginger, is why I have hope. I had it before working through the Cancer Council. Not for them, but with them. But I have hope. See you later.